Hello, my name is Jitters, and today I'll be going through an in-depth analysis of the mechanics for all of Astra's abilities. I'm going to be doing something a little different with this video and start by focusing on her astral form and stars before going into the specifics of her abilities. Quick PSA before the video starts, while I was getting footage for this video, I came across this bug in one of my games where the game freezes when you go into astral form. The only way to get out of this is for an enemy to kill you. I'm not sure why this happens, but just know that this could happen to you, so keep that in mind before bringing her into your ranked games. Okay, now on to the video. Astra is not like other characters in that she doesn't actually use credits to buy her abilities individually. She instead can pay 200 credits to buy a single charge of a star, and can then activate those stars in any way that she wants during a round. She can hold up to 5 stars every round. The number of stars Astra holds is indicated on the UI right above her abilities. By pressing the ultimate key, Astra will leave her body and go into Astra form, where she will hover above the map and can place down her stars anywhere she wants to be activated at will later. You were also able to move freely while in Astral form, making it easier to place your abilities where you want them. Astra does not make any noise when going in and out of Astral form. You can hear Astra's stars being placed and the sound cue for this is very loud. You can hear the star Here. being placed as long as you are within 33 meters of its location. Once a player is further than that, they will be unable to hear the star being placed. Here. This is true even Here. if you do not have direct line of sight with the star. You can hear Asha's location when she activates a star, but only when she uses either her concussion or gravity pulling abilities, and each of these abilities have their own unique sound effect. Activating a smoke or recalling one of her stars will not give away Asha's location. When she uses either her Q or C ability, you can hear her from about 12 meters away. Any further than that, and you won't be able to hear Astral casting these abilities. Here. 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 You can set up your stars before a round to detonate them right when the round starts. That'll work. You can leave Astral Form at any time by either pressing the ultimate key again, or by pressing one of your weapon's bindings to switch to that weapon. When a star is placed, it will stay there for the entire round unless Astra either activates it or recalls it. Blocking vision. Astra can activate a star by looking at it and pressing any of her ability keys. This can be done through walls as well, similar to Killjoy Blocking activating vision. her mollies. She can recall the star by pressing the F key, which will place down a smoke for about 2 seconds before disappearing. Recalling a star puts it on an 8 second cooldown before she's able to place it down again. Recalled stars will appear yellow on the UI and you will lose them when the next round starts. Recalled stars are prioritized as the first stars that are used. You cannot recall or activate a star while still in buy phase. At the beginning of every round, Astra will get 2 stars for free, meaning it costs her 600 credits to buy full util every round. When in astral form, you are very vulnerable to being killed since you are unable to move or shoot. When in astral form, you cannot see enemies that are within your line of sight the way you can when smoking with Omen. While in astral form, sounds will also be dampened around you, making it hard for you to hear enemies that are nearby. It takes about 1 second to get out of astral form and to be able to start shooting again. Enemies are able to see your stars on the ground, but they are not able to destroy them. This includes both by shooting and using abilities. Open up. 
the sky! I'll spread it! While in astral form, you can activate your stars using any of your abilities, but there's a short delay between when the star is placed and when it becomes activatable. The delay I seems to, to be about one and a half Pulling seconds long. In. However, there isn't really a delay between when you can place down stars, so you can place multiple down in quick succession. This means that when you're executing a site, it makes more sense to place all of your stars down first and then activate them since by the time you put all your stars down, the first one you Consuming. place should be ready to activate. Pulling them in. Blasting them. Where if you put down each star and then activate them one by one, it would take vision. much longer to activate all your stars, Consuming. especially if you're planning on using all five of them. Pulling them in. Knocking them. Now that we're done talking about her astral form, we can get to the specifics of Astra's actual abilities. Astra's first ability, Nebula, is her smoke, which can be activated Locking by pressing vision. the E key when looking at one of her stars. Astra holds two charges, and whenever she uses one, it will go on cooldown for 14 seconds. Locking when the vision. cooldown ends, she will replenish a charge of her smoke. Each of Astra's smokes have their own separate cooldown, but the UI only shows the cooldown for the smoke that will replenish first. So if you activate both of the smokes at the same time, you'll get both charges back at about the same time as well. Similarly, if you activate your smoke with a delay between them, the time it will take to get the second smoke back is the difference in that delay. Here I activated my smokes 5 seconds apart from each other, and when the first cooldown ended, the cooldown for the other smoke was only 5 seconds long. While both of her smokes are on cooldown, Astra cannot Consume activate it. a star using Locking the E key, vision. and instead will have to use one of, of her other charges. abilities. Out of the charges. Once activated, the smoke lasts Destroying about 14 vision. and a half seconds before it disappears. Just like Omen smokes, Astros are hollow, so players can Locking see each other while in the smoke. Astros smokes are slightly smaller than Omens. I'll leave an I'm annotation on screen for my video where I explain the mechanics for all of Omen's abilities. The actual size of the smoke can be seen when in astral form and is indicated by the smaller circle around the star. When a smoke is activated, there's a sound cue to let you know that Astral activated the smoke. This sound cue can be heard from about 32 meters away. Right here. Right here. Astra's second ability is Nova Pulse, which is her concussion ability. The ability is activated by pressing Q on one of her stars, and any player hit by the ability is concussed. Concussing him. The ability goes on a 12 second cooldown after it is used, and you cannot activate Con another star him. using Nova Pulse while it's on cooldown. This effect is the same as Breach's E, and players that are affected will have their crosshair sway, making it harder to aim. The player's fire rate is also severely lowered, and throughout the duration of the effect, the player's fire rate will slowly ramp up until the end of the debuff, where it is returned to normal. The actual accuracy of their shots is not affected, so it is still possible to be accurate when concussed. The effect of the ability lasts about 3 and 3 quarters of a second. The ability will affect both enemies and teammates that are hit by it. Blasting them. Players can be affected through walls as long as they are within the star's range. Concussing them. The hitbox of the star can be seen by a light outline of a bubble around the center of the star. 
You can see the hitbox while in astral form before you place down the star as it is indicated by the smaller circle around the star. This makes the hitbox about the same size as Astro Smoke. Because the hitbox is in the shape of a bubble, you can actually hit enemies that are on higher or lower ground than the star, assuming they are still touching the bubble. Up. Astra's next ability is Gravity Well and is binded to C by default. The ability is activated by pressing the key while looking at one of her stars. After being activated, there's a 12 second cooldown before you can use Gravity Well again. Players within the range of the ability will be pulled towards the center and after a few seconds, the star explodes making everyone within range vulnerable. Enemies can still move around while in the range of the ability, but they are slowed. Enemies that can escape the radius of the ability will not be vulnerable when the star detonates. The hitbox of the ability is indicated by the larger circle seen when looking at a star, meaning it has a larger hitbox than Nova Pulse. Pulling them in! You can see the size of the pull radius in astral form, also indicated by the larger circle around the star. Since the hitbox is in the shape of a bubble, the gravity well can be used to pull enemies down from high ground in very rare instances, but the pull of the star is not strong enough to lift an enemy that is on lower ground up. This ability also works on enemies on the other side of walls as long as they are within range. It is not possible to pull enemies that are diffusing off of the bomb using this ability, but enemies within the radius will still be vulnerable oh after the star explodes. You cannot stop players from planting the bomb just by pulling them. However, in the rare case where an enemy decides to plant the bomb on the edge of the site, it is possible to pull them off the site and stop their plant that way. Astra's ultimate is Cosmic Divide and requires 7 ultimate points to use. When in Astral form, you can press right click to use your ultimate. After which, by pressing left click, you can select a center point and then rotate the wall with the mouse before pressing left click again to place it. The ultimate well places a wall across the entire map that neither team can see through. On top of players not being able to see through the wall, players are also unable well to shoot divided. through the wall either. You can use abilities through the wall. For well example, divided. Brimstone can still molly through it. Well the wall divided. also dampens noise, making it hard to hear what's happening on the other side of it. This dampening well effect divided. is so strong that you cannot hear the bomb being diffused from the other side of the wall. You can gain ultimate points while the barrier is still active to charge your next well ultimate. Divided. Thank you for watching my video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed or learned something new about Astra and subscribe for more Valorant related videos.